Hi everyone, I'm Dick Beardsley with Dick Beardsley Fishing Guide Service and Fish House Rentals, and it's time now for our weekly Visit Bemidji, Bemidji Area Fishing Report. Well folks, last week's report, remember I was talking about a big snowstorm that was supposed to hit the Bemidji area? Well, it did. We got somewhere 12 to 14 inches of heavy snow. That is not what the doctor ordered for making good ice here in the Bemidji area. Now saying that, some of the smaller to medium sized lakes that had 10, 12 inches of ice already, they might hold up a little bit better. But lakes like Lake Bemidji, it was kind of in that eight inch mark, something like that. Uh, they're starting to be slush now out on these lakes. And that could be a problem as far as getting around, whether it be uh, by foot, by snowmobile, by ATV, or of course a vehicle once that ice gets stuck enough. But only time will tell. That's all we can hope for, And but you really gotta be aware that there could be some slush problems underneath all this heavy snow. Now saying that, the few people that have been getting out, and there's getting to be more and more people getting out now, especially after the snow has finally ended, uh, we're catching some fish. We're getting some walleyes off those first breaks on Lake Bemidji, Lake Plantagenet, Gull Lake, same thing. Off those first breaks, 12, 15 foot of water on Jig and Spoon seems to be working pretty darn good, and a minnow head. The crappies and bluegills, now again, you're gonna find a few of those fish still up in those, you know, those still green weed areas that you can find in shallower water, but a lot of the crappies that we're catching right now are out in these deeper basins and they're suspended. You know, you don't know where they're gonna be. You might be in 30 foot of water, they might be 15 feet down. So that's where your electronics like a Vexler really comes in handy to know exactly where those fish are so you can put your bait right where you need it. Now, I'm out on a lake today and we're looking for some crappies. Now, the crappies can be funny. They can be very fickle, almost worse than a walleye. And it seems like the best bite typically is earlier in the morning, but even better, late afternoon into the darkness. That seems when they really start to go in on the bite. So what we're using today is I'm using a glow shot Northland jig, spoon I should say. And the reason I really like these, and these are good for panfish, pike, walleyes, perch, you name it. The one thing I really like about them is that they have a glow stick and it sits inside this spoon and it'll glow for, like I said the other day, eight to 10 hours at a time. And they're very simple. Like each spoon you get, you get a couple of glow sticks, different colors. I've got a chartreuse one here. And all you gotta do is crack them. Now you can use your fingers if you want, but I just use my teeth and you'll feel a little snap. Boom, that's all it is. You turn that spoon over on its side and you put it in there and you push her down and it fits right in there and boom. Now you've got a glow spoon like we have right here. Very simple. And then what I'm doing today to see if we can get some of these crappies going is I'm gonna put a couple of wax worms on and I'll put them by the tail of the wax worm and you can tell the head from the tail because the head has a little brown marking on it. And I hook one in one of the treble hooks, let it hang straight down, get one more and hook it in another one. And then when you're jigging that spoon, those wax worms kind of just go up and down and they're, they're tantalizing for the fish, that's for sure. So it's actually pretty gosh darn simple if I can get this last wax worm on, pretty darn simple. And then uh, you just drop that spoon down the hole and uh, away you go. Now what I usually do is I start dropping her all the way to the bottom. I'll pound that spoon on the bottom and then to try to get some fish coming in for that attraction. And then if I see some marks coming up, you know, up above the bottom, I'll bring that spoon right up to that mark and start jigging, sometimes pretty aggressively, and then all of a sudden I'll just stop it. And a lot of times when you jig it aggressively, you stop it, bang, that's when they hit her. Folks, I dropped that spoon all the way down to the bottom and I'm pounding it. Oh, now I'm getting a mark on here. <laughs> Boy, that didn't take long. Come on. There we go. Oh, there's a nice crappie. Let me see if I bend down enough to, there we go. Hey folks, how about that? Nice 11 and a half, 12 inch crappie. Boy, that is fun. Folks, this is the time to come up here, enjoy the winter wonderland here in Bemidji, hundreds of miles of snowmobile trails, cross country ski trails, and of course, great ice fishing. Merry Christmas, everyone. And please remember to practice selective harvesting. 
By doing so, we'll continue to have great fishing for years to come. I'm Dick Beardsley with Dick Beardsley Fishing Guide Service and Fish House Rentals. Have a safe, fun time on the ice.